centrosome, centriole, chromosome, and centromere. These are terms that are frequently mixed up by learners. And in order to clarify the difference between them, we're going to look at their definitions as well as the relationships between them. We we'll start with the centrosome. The literal meaning of centrosome, if we break it up, the prefix centro referring to something central, and then some would be a body. And we find that the centrosome is an organelle that is found quite near to the nucleus within animal cells. And if we zoom into the structure, we find that it contains two centrioles that are perpendicular to each other at 90 degrees to each other, as well as a protein matrix around it, which forms kind of a cloud of proteins around it. And together, those proteins with the centrioles make up the centrosome. So what are centrioles? If we look at the literal meaning, centri meaning center, it's found within the centrosome. Eole would be referring to the diminutive of something, something that is a smaller version. So for example, in the circulatory system, we know we've got veins and arteries. When the arteries break down into smaller arteries, we call that arterioles, right? Or similarly in the breathing system, the bronchi breaks up into smaller tubules known as the bronchioles. So here that gives you a good idea that this is a smaller part found within the centrosome. That's an easier way to recall it. So it's a structure that's consisting of microtubules that make up a cylindrical shape. There's normally they are found in pairs that are perpendicular to each other and it's found within the centrosome. Chromosome. Chrome means color and some is body. So the reason for getting this name is that when they are doing microscopy and in those techniques, they add certain stains and dyes in order to see the structures more clearly. And they find that the chromosomes absorb those dyes a lot and they are very darkly colored when they look at them in the, with the microscope. So they are thread-like structures that are made up of condensed chromatin. Chromatin is made up of DNA as well as protein, and they carry genes. Now, we get it in two forms. We get them as unreplicated chromosomes or as a replicated chromosome, which is made up of two chromatids joined by a centromere. Now, centromere literally means center part, and it's the center part of the chromosome where the two chromatids are joined, and here is where the spindle fibers will then join during the cell division. So in cell division, the relationship between these different structures is that during interphase, we're gonna have the centrosome replicating or duplicating. And then when you get to prophase, we're gonna have the centrosome separating. And as they separate, they form spindle fibers. These spindle fibers get attached to the chromosomes at the centromeres. And in metaphase, we're gonna have them arranged at the equator. And then due to the contraction of the spindle fibers in anaphase of mitosis or in anaphase two of meiosis, we're gonna have the centromere breaking. And we have now the chromatids separating now as unreplicated chromosomes to the poles. Right, so we hope that that has improved our understanding of what's the difference between the centrosome, centriole, centromere, as well as a chromosome. In the next video, we're going to look at the differences between stage one of meiosis and stage two of the meiotic division.